corner of uh, Baldwin and Central, about a half hour after the storm went through on Monday afternoon, you can see the huge whirlpool where the uh, water is draining into the storm. Uh, in the storm drain there. What also you can see here, there's another one on the other side. A lot of water here. There's one on the other side. And you can see water bubbling up. I don't know whether I can get a close enough focus or not. You can see water bubbling up on the street in the middle there. Through the manhole covers. There's one closer here where uh, water is just starting to percolate up too. This is the 300 block of South Street. You can see some kids down playing at the intersection down there where Marion Street is. Um, water's probably two or three feet high in the, at the intersection of South Street and Marion. Uh, this is about a half hour after a uh, Monday afternoon storm. We're at the corner of Wayne and Spring Street, which the police dispatch said was impassable. So it looks like people are attempting it. You can see the water moving there here at the corner of Wayne and Spring from last night's storms. And the police are officially saying it is impassable. People are still attempting it. You can see how deep the water gets just by looking here. Reports of up to six to eight inches of water in other parts of the town. Here is Spring Street, right beside the armory. You can just see how much water is getting picked up just by walking through it. Looks like the water extends past the next intersection, Liberty, and almost halfway through the next block. We're here at the corner of Liberty and Spring now. And the water is getting deeper. It's well above the foot. As you can see, the water keeps going. Oh, thank you. And this gentleman's going to attempt. It is! I can see now, it's well past my feet here, the intersection. Here comes the city of Bluffton truck. Another truck is coming as well. That truck coming from the west is backing up. Apparently it's decided to change its mind. At the corner of Mulberry and Ohio Street, another high water area, cleaning the storm sewers. Rakes in hand. Water is not quite as high as it is at Spring Street. It's still. You say it's gone down a lot in the past hour? Oh. When I started, it was up here. And it's gone down at least, I don't know how many inches. Well, that you can even see. 
Could you point to that spot one more time where it was earlier? So about an hour ago it was there close to the stop sign basically. A gentleman was here and we helped them get out because it was up to, up to the door. So earlier the he, water was up to the door? Yeah, him and his kid got out and they Oh, okay, they so he had a kid with them. Yep. Okay. It's, it, he'd be able to get through now, but yeah. it, as you get up here in the middle, it's a lot more deeper. So originally it was about up to his door, you said? Yeah. Boy, it has gone down quite a bit then. If you look in the back of it, well, even up here you can see where the, where the water marks are, where, where it was. is. Yeah, probably about right, right in here is where it was. Okay. Yeah, right there. All right, so, so they, they got out and... All right. Uh, well, what, our first call was out on West Dustman Road, mm -hmm. and um, it was a lot worse than what is here on Washington Street. There was a lot of cars getting stuck there. Okay. Um, looked like they were being drifted off into the field as well. All um, right. But that, like I said, was about an hour ago. Mm -hmm. uh, then we got the call to come to the 1200 block of West Washington. Which is where we are now. Yes, and... Um, Two cars initially was stranded here. We got the red, there was a red car that was here. We got them out, but they were a little higher than the black car that you can see now. Yeah. Which uh, the water has gone down significantly. Mm -hmm. uh, but also when we first got here, uh, two of the homes had started seeing water spurring out of their, um, their sinks, their tubs, their toilets. Okay. And then we had two other homes which had gotten that as well. So. All right. Um, other than that, now, like I said, the water's starting to finally go down, mm -hmm. and uh, the drains are starting to be a little cleared up a little better. So Indeed. Um, we'll see if this car can make it through. I think they can. But. I think so. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Looking like it. Car tracking through the mud. 24 and Adams Street. no problem though one police officer did say that a compact car tried to get through or a car a smaller car at least and, and had no such luck after the storms on Monday night May 23rd 